Every once in a while, I get a question emailed to me, and when we can, we answer it on this broadcast. A person was asking what Ephesians 4.23 means, and it says this, Be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Well, he says, What is the spirit of your minds? Well, first of all, this is talking about human mind. And a loose definition would be the attitude of the human mind. But it's much more than that. Spirit is like the soul of the mind. It colors your thinking, your complete thinking, your complete actions because of that thinking. It is literally coloring every thought that you hold in your mind. It is like an umbrella that covers the whole human mind. In a broadcast coming up, I'm going to talk about how God loves a cheerful giver. And I say in that that God looks not only at the gift, but also the condition of our heart when we're giving that gift. Well, there is also a heart of the human mind, and that is the subconscious mind or the memory mind. And that also can currently affect the, the conscious mind and our actions, whether we realize it or not, that we do every day. Now, let me take this a bit further. I used to know a woman that was, well, she was mean-spirited. Now, you've known people that are mean-spirited. No matter what they do, there is always an agenda that they do it because of. But sometimes it's very subtle. There was once a lady that sat by a dying relative's bedside, night and day. And those that saw her at first glance would say, my, what a caring woman. But you would have to look a little bit further, that she had not seen that person in years, not cared about that person, not answered their calls or their letters. What was the spirit of her actions? The spirit of her actions was inheritance. Now, people can be nice to your face, but what is the spirit of their actions? What is their agenda behind it? Well, ordinarily, we don't talk about, in positive Christianity, the, the, um, the bad traits of the human being, but this is a very positive verse. It's talking about how you can be renewed by God in the spirit of your mind. Now, I don't believe that humans alone can heal the spirit of the mind. I know as a minister, and I've been in ministry a long time, that I've never been able to heal of my human self another human's spirit of the mind in counselings, uh, or in, in sermons. I've also had counselors tell me the same. Usually, you cannot heal the spirit of the human mind. Some people are aware of it. Some people are not what the spirit of their mind is. And often, I have learned the hard way, and listen, ministers, as you're listening to this, when you tell a person, uh, when it's so clear to you what their spirit of their mind is and they're going in the wrong way and why their actions are that way, even though they're there to see you, to be healed, they don't want to hear it. And they will tend to want to kill the messenger <laughs> for, for sharing it with them. So the healing of the spirit comes through, first of all, the free will. By saying in prayer, God, 
my life isn't working. I don't know what's wrong. My mind all of a sudden has become entirely cynical. Uh, I have a dislike of people automatically. Uh, what is happening with the spirit of my mind? And you pray to God and you can receive a real healing, a full mind healing, um, healing of conscious mind and also heart mind, the subconscious mind, whole mind healing. You can have that mind in you that was in Christ Jesus, as it says in the Bible. Well, this is a real miracle when this occurs. Now, I talked at the very beginning of this about the mean-spirited woman that I knew. Well, she prayed for a miracle. She realized in time that no matter what she did, she just was mean. There was a total transformation of this woman. She literally had an umbrella of God's love covering her mind. A complete infilling of God's love. And she was transformed in a miraculous short period of time. Be renewed in the spirit of your minds by going to God and by asking God with all sincerity, God, here is my mind. Take it. Use it. Infill it. And you will be. It will be quite miraculous. God bless you.